Hello, so today you're going to learn how to use Awesome TTS to add um, audios to your language studying cards in Anki, which is a um, space repetition software to make flash flashcards. And it's very, very effective for learning languages. So let's get down to it. So let's go. First of all, uh, add-ons for Anki. Add-ons are like extensions for Anki that help you study stuff. So on this page, so um, you have many, many add-ons that you can use, but I'm gonna draw your attention to Awesome TTS. So they update this often. So the most updated one that is working is this one, um, although it's unofficial, but it's actually working. On this page, they give you detail about how it works, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's go. You are gonna copy this code, on the download part. And then you're gonna go to Anki on your desktop. Okay. Right here on Anki, uh, you're gonna go on tools, right here, tools. And then you're gonna choose add-ons. And after this, you're going to set up everything for you to add the add-on. So I already have this add-on for zooming in and out but I'm going to choose uh, get add-ons on the upper right corner of the interface. Um, and then you copy, actually you paste the, the code that you had copied and then you click on OK. Great. So it's processing and it's going to be added. Okay, download complete. Please restart Anki to apply changes. So you're gonna click on OK, and then restart Anki. How do you do it? Just close it and open it again. And that's what you're going to do. Okay, Anki has restarted. So now you're going to go on Add. Okay, then you're going to choose the deck that you want to add so that you add on the right deck. But anyways, it's already cho chosen. So I'm gonna, you're gonna preferably paste the sentence here, but I'm just gonna write something. Like for example, in English, so this sentence is in English and I like it, okay? So uh, after you have installed Awesome TTS, on the upper right corner of the interface of the add part of Anki, you're gonna see Awesome TTS. So just click on this icon and they're gonna show you the adding software. Okay, uh, you can generate using something. Uh, here is it's selected by default, Microsoft Speech API GS script, uh, but you can use Google Translate, okay, and other stuff, but my favorite one that I recommend to you guys is Outcast. Click on Outcast, and then as the language of the front of the card is English, I'm gonna select an English speaker. Uh, okay, let let me see. English from the U.S. Let's choose um, let's choose Julie. And then we you can preview. Then you can record. This is and that's it. And then I would like uh, translate this to my language, which is Portuguese, or you can translate it to whatever language that you want. Uh, or if it's in Portuguese, my native language, let's say you're learning Portuguese, it's gonna appear as well. So, which means the sentence is in Portuguese. Just select any point here, like, uh, on the, on the front of the car, then click on the add-on, then select PTBR, which is Portuguese from Brazil, or from Portugal. There are both options here. I'm gonna choose Fernanda, then you record it, and that's it. It's a very powerful tool, um, and I recommend it to all of you who are learning languages and like you can find French audios, Spanish, Italian, Korean, Portuguese, English, 
many, many types of audio. You can change the generator of the audio. Awesome TTS is a very cool tool for you to add audios to sentences that you typically don't find the correspondent audio. So that's my tip for today, and I hope you like it. I hope it's helpful. Bye-bye.